How to Complete Your Development Plan. You can follow along with the Development Plan PDF How-To Guide. Please note that there may be slight differences in the wording of your development plan and the development plan we are about to complete. To log in, click the Talent on Demand link from Corridors. Use your network ID as your username. Your initial password is password1 with a capital P. If you have any trouble logging in, contact the IT Service Center. To get started on you or your employee's development plan, click Development on the main navigation bar. This will bring you to the main development plan page. To get started on a new plan, click Create. The first step is to enter a title for your development plan. You should keep your title broad enough to encompass multiple action steps or activities. If you are creating this plan as a result of an appraisal task, like the mid-year check-in for example, you can title it Mid-Year Check-in Development. Next, select a category for the development plan, either a current role or a future role. Add a description of the goal that provides more details to what you're trying to accomplish. Adding objectives to your development plan will make it more specific. Start by adding an objective title that describes what you would like to improve or achieve. Objective categories are performance competencies. Select the performance competency that this objective most closely aligns to. The action step will not be saved until it has been added to your objective. To add it, click the Add button. The action step description provides more detail to the objective. It reflects the action that you will take to develop. In this example, if we are trying to increase project management skills, one action step would be to co-lead a project with an experienced project manager. Next, select an activity category that best represents the action step. In this example, you would choose mentor slash job shadow. Enter the date you plan to complete this action step. If you are not a manager, you can save the development plan as a draft and return to it later. If you are a manager, you have the option of assigning the development plan to your subordinates by checking the box next to the employee's name. Once you are finished with your development plan, you can either save it as a draft or submit it. This will bring you back to the development plan page. Your completed development plan will be available for you and your manager to review, edit, and update throughout the year.